we weren't using before, we just had it as a demonstration. And we had already estimated that there's 40,000 that was made in the prior period, the prior year, or the prior month, uh, that we wrote off in the prior period to match it up to the revenue in that period. And we created this allowance account. And now we're just gonna write down that allowance account. No effect down here to bad debt at this point in time. No effect to net income at this point in time. We, at the end of the period, will make an estimate based on the revenue and or the accounts receivable to determine how much of this revenue we think is going to be uncollectible and therefore be matching up with the matching principle. So in this case, when we write it off, there's no effect on the net income accounts. It's just affecting this allowance account, which we had set up prior. And we still have the decrease uh, from the 9,000 down by the 9,200 in the accounts receivable. Same activity in the trial balance, I mean the general ledger in terms of accounts receivable, back to that 1,191,000, 1,191,000. If we take a look at a side-by-side -side comparison, here's the uh, bad debt, uh, the direct write-off, and here's the allowance method. So here we're not using the allowance account under the direct write-off method. It's just there to show uh, what account would be used under the allowance method. It's not being here used under this side, the direct write-off. It is being used over here. We can see that we have the 1,191, nothing in the allowance. It's not, it's not a relevant account under the direct write-off method. Over here, we still have the 1,191, but we have this 31,000, which was there prior, was created prior to this time period uh, when we wrote off the bad debt related to the prior time period. So this 31 is still left over that we think could be uncollectible or become uncollectible at some point in the future based on an estimate. On the income statement side, we decreased net income by that 9,000. So the 378,000 minus this 9,000 is the 369. On the allowance method, no write-off to bad debt at this point in time. We won't write it off until we make an estimate at the end of the time period based on either revenue or our accounts receivable. Next transaction, G Company payment 20,000 of 30. This is gonna be the direct write-off half of this, so we're looking at the direct write-off. We're gonna say that we did get cash, so we debit the cash, it's increasing. Then the accounts receivable is going off the books for the 30,000, the entire amount owed, we're not going to get the added 10,000. The difference then is going to be the 10,000. We have to put it somewhere. This will be the difference between the two methods. Under the direct write-off method, we'll write it off to the bad debt expense. Under the allowance method, as we will see in the next slide, it would be going to the allowance for doubtful accounts. If we record this then, cash is going to go up 100,000 plus the 20,000 to 120. We can see the accounts receivable is going to go uh, down, we were at 1,191, down by the 30,000 to